Most organizations have limited resources allocated towards cybersecurity, so it is essential to prioritize tasks relating to securing applications and systems. If all our business applications were organized in a classic risk matrix, we could quickly determine the ones to go after first. And that is exactly what Color Tokens delivers in the risk dashboard. A higher attack surface corresponds to a higher likelihood of being compromised, so our highest risk applications are the ones towards the top right corner of the grid. Let's take a look at how Color Tokens determines the residual risk of an application. The risk scoring methodology aggregates three components. The first is vulnerability, which captures inherent security gaps and weaknesses. The second is exposure, which measures the entry points and attack boundaries. And third, we have the value to the business. To determine the vulnerability score for the application, Color Tokens integrates with best-in-class scanners and computes an overall security score based on the CVSS scores of the individual resources. The exposure is determined using three methods. The first is the number of open ports on the resources and their reachability from other subnets. The second is the number of connections to and from application resources. And the third is the application's micro-segmentation state, specifically whether or not policies are enforced. The final component is the business value of the application and again consists of two components. One is a perceived business impact that is specified by the administrator and the second is a computed impact based on two sub-factors, the operating environment and the number of resources and their roles in the application. Let's take a closer look at our highest risk application. It has a computed residual risk score of 9 out of 10 in large part due to three factors its importance to the business, its high exposure, and some existing vulnerabilities. So let's address this high-risk application by designing and enforcing micro-segmentation policies. I've already defined and verified the micro-segmentation policies for this application, and I'm now enforcing them. Now let's review the risk dashboard again. You can see that our highest risk application has moved towards the left in the grid, implying that its residual risk has reduced. And the risk score has indeed reduced significantly. In particular, the exposure has reduced from high to medium, and this is a direct result of enforcing the zero-trust microsegmentation policy. We can now move on to the next highest risk application. And that's how easy it is to prioritize your security tasks and verify the results of securing your applications with color tokens.